Hey everyone, so are you using one of these Wi-Fi router and wonder why you can't get signal when you go to the garage, out on the porch, on the deck, or by the pool? Well, I'm gonna tell you the reason why is because this router is not powerful enough to spread the signal around. So in this video, I'm gonna introduce you to my top five Wi-Fi mesh system that's gonna boost your Wi-Fi signal dramatically. Number one. Eero Pro. So the Eero Pro comes in at a speed of AC2200. It covers an area of 4500 square feet with three units. It has two LAN gigabit ethernet ports and available in one to three packs. And it's compatible with Amazon Voice Assistant. Number two. TP-Link Deco M9 Plus. The Deco comes in at a speed of AC2200. It covers an area of 6500 square feet with three units. It has two LAN gigabit ethernet ports available and it's available in one to three packs. It's compatible with Amazon Voice Assistant and it works with IFTTT. Number three. Linksys Velop. Now this system comes in at a speed of AC2200. It covers a total area of 6,000 square feet and that's with three units. It has two LAN gigabit ethernet ports available in one to three packs and it's the only one on my list that's available in two colors white or black number four griffin now the griffin comes in at a speed of ac 3000 the total area of coverage is 8000 square feet and that's with three units it comes with three LAN gigabit ethernet ports and one wan port it's available in one to three packs it can block ransomware and malware with the eset technology and hack protection with ai intrusion detection number five netgear orbi now the orbi comes in at a speed of ac 3000 it covers an area of 8000 square feet with four units it has four LAN gigabit ethernet ports and the units come in various configurations. There's a unit that has cable modem built in. There's one with Amazon and Google voice assistant built in and the speaker is made by Harman Kardon. And there's a unit that's built especially for business. So you can separate your guests from your employees and you can apply different security measures. And finally, they have an expendable unit that you can put outdoor that can handle rain and various weather conditions. Okay, so all of these systems are tri-band system. And if you don't know what a tri-band system is, let me let Matt explain that to you. According to Chris Hoffman, editor-in-chief of HowToGeek.com, while dual-band routers broadcast two separate signals, tri-band routers broadcast three different signals. Essentially, they're hosting three different Wi-Fi networks at once. But the similarities end there. Rather than hosting a network at a third different frequency, a tri-band router actually hosts a 2.4 GHz signal and two separate 5 GHz signals. A dual-band router makes sense for compatibility reasons. But why do you need a separate 5 GHz Wi-Fi signal? Well, because Wi-Fi networks suffer congestion too. Theoretical maximum Wi-Fi speeds are split and shared among all the devices on your network. So, if you have a smart TV streaming a high-resolution 4K stream from Netflix, that will reduce the Wi-Fi speed available to your other devices. A tri-band router is literally hosting two separate 5 GHz networks, and it automatically sorts devices into different networks. This offers more speed to share among your devices. Note that it won't actually speed up a single device, that device is only connected to one of those networks at a time, but it will offer more speed to additional devices you add. Okay, so I hope you got an understanding of what that means. That means that extra 5 GHz gives you more way of connecting devices, and like he said, if you're streaming a 4K movie, that five gigahertz stream is gonna take over and then the other five gigahertz screen will take care of other devices. So that's to reduce all that buffering you will get to the regular router like this one right here or the dual band routers. Okay, so if you're going from this and you pick any one of these systems, you cannot go wrong. But of course, there's advantages to which system you get. So out of these top five, let's see the advantage to each system. So let's start off by square footage. If you're trying to cover a large square footage, the Griffin and the Orbit is gonna be your best bet. With the Orbit mean the better one because the Orbit can expand out to like, for instance, the outdoor unit, which increase your Wi-Fi square footage. Now, as far as Wi-Fi speed, the Griffin and the Orbit is coming at AC 3000. 
which is going to be your two fastest system on this list. The Eero, the Linksys, and the TP Link is coming at AC2200. Not bad, but not as fast as the AC3000. Now, if you're looking for hardwired connections, your two winners are going to be the Griffin and the Orbit. Those are the ones with the most LAN port for each, while the Eero, the TP Link, and the Linksys only has two ethernet ports. Now, if you want to get a system that can integrate with your smart home, then you want to get the system that's available from Eero, TP-Link, Linksys, or Orbi. The Griffin, I didn't see anything about it being smart home compatible. The Orbi has two voice assistants available for it, so you can use either the Amazon or the Google, and everybody else has the Amazon assistants available. Now, even though the Griffin doesn't have voice assistant compatibility, it does have protection against ransomware, malware, and hack protection. And that seems to be built right into the unit and not some software that's running on the computer. So when I was shopping around for a mesh system, I was weighing between the Linksys and the Orbit. I ended up going with the Orbit because I needed hardwired connections. Cause the most stuff I can hardwire takes a load off my Wi-Fi, And that was the only system at the time that has four ethernet port per unit. And to expand those four ports, I connect a switch to one of the ethernet ports. Plus the Orbi had a faster Wi-Fi speed compared to the Linksys. But as you can see, the Orbi system is the most versatile system out there. There's a unit that's built specifically for business, one that's built to handle the outdoor environment. There's one for you to get rid of your cable modem. And there's one that has the voice assistant built in. Now the only disadvantage of the Orbi system is they are a huge unit. They are big and chunky. So if you don't want that big chunky unit sitting in your living room because it's messing up your decor, then you want to go for something like the Linksys because those devices are very small and square and they will blend in. Plus it gives you two different color combination between the black and the white. But to be honest with you, you really can't go wrong picking any one of these systems. Because if this is what you're using right now and you're having crappy Wi-Fi signal where you're losing signal when you go outside in the garage, on the deck, by the pool, then you need to upgrade to one of these Wi-Fi mesh systems because they're gonna dramatically boost your Wi-Fi signal and kill those dead zones. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. Links will be in the description to each one of these units so you can pick one up if you decide to go this route. Thanks for taking the time for watching this video. I look forward to see you next time. Have a good one.